in previous tutorial we have learned the basics of 3d so in this tutorial we will be making some objects so that we will get more hands on basics of 3d then we so we will be creating this object so you will understand the 3d basic concepts in more detail so we will start autocad so as we know we have to at first we have to as object is bigger so we will set the limit 200 by 200 so we will say limits 0 comma 0 200 comma 200 then zoom all to apply the limit then to view the z axis we will give southeast isometric then we will use the recess icon command recess icon no origin so it will remain on left side so at first you have to divide the 3d object in different sections so that you can plan your creation so there are four uh, atoms are there so this uh, bottom plate is there 112 by 64 then these two blocks are there and one hole is there so there are four atoms so at first we will be creating 112 by 64 rectangle and then we will press pulling it to 16 width height so we will be creating 64 by 112 rectangle using line command we will create it so we will make it orthon using f8 so we want it 64 then this length should be 112 112 then again 64 we will track it from this point and we have created right click and enter so we have created this base rectangle then we will press pull it to give a height of 12 so this plate, the base plate is ready so this base plate is ready now we will create this 16 by 32 object by copy edges so it is on both the sides so we will creating that 16 by 32 so we will say here copy edges so from editing toolbar we can do that copy edges select this edge that we will copy on 32 distance right click enter base point direction 32 escape to come out again this edge should be on 16 so again we will say copy edges this edge right click enter base point direction 16 so this shape is created here then on this side also we will be needing same way so again we will see copy edge this edge right click enter base point direction 32 distance same way this on the 8 distance so again we will say copy edge this edge enter or right click enter base point direction 16 distance so th these two corner uh, pieces are ready so we will press pull those sections so this section will be press pulling at a distance of height of 40 from bottom 16 we already used that means 420 24 distance so we will be extruding it for 24 right same way on this side also press pull this section 24 right so these three objects are created we can view that in conceptual visual style so in this way two objects are created then uh, internal hole before that we will remove these lines so by going to 2d wireframe we can erase those lines so now we don't want these lines we will erase it enter right click we don't want to repeat then uh, internal shape we have to create so internal shape is on 40 distance from this side 20 from this side 24 and 32 so 40 32 so we will copy this edge on 40 and 32 copy edges this edge enter base point direction 40 then to come out escape then again now this has become a simple edge so we can copy using this 2d copy command copy this right click base point direction 32 distance so same way this edge is on 20 distance so we will say copy edge this edge right click enter base point direction 20 distance 
then same way it will be also on 20 distance so again i will say copy is this is right click enter base point direction 20 distance so in this way we internal rectangle has been created so we can create the hole using press pull command so press pull select internal rectangle go downward and click so in this way this our object has been created unwanted lines we can erase by going to 2d wireframe and using erase command so can we can erase the unwanted lines so in this way we have created this object we can view it from all the direction using view toolbar or isometric toolbar is there so that also we can use or we can use the orbit button so that we can or we we will be you can view from here in different visual styles also or we already know how to give the colors so one of the other ways by selecting on this also you can give the color press escape to come out so in this way this first object is created then we will just erase this object and we will be creating the next object so again we will go to world yes yes so x y will be horizontal and z will be vertical so now next object is this one the step object so here again we have to create the zoom it down so here base distance is 104 by so there are one two three objects are there four so at first we will create a cube of 104 72 and 48 height so 102 by 72 height will be creating the rectangle at first so 104 by 72 so line command so everything is well set so line then give the width so it is 172 so we will say 72 then direction is so before that ok now wait then 104 so we will say here 104 and we will track endpoint enter then we will press pull it and give the height so press pull height of 70 48 so this has been created then for those steps we will be needing those lines 24 24 distance and 24 from this side also so using copy edges we can do that so copy edge this is enter right click enter base point 24 again copy edge this edge right click enter base point direction 24 again this edge right click enter base point direction 24 so this layout we have created on the top so we will press pull it uh, for desired depth so first is 16 depth or uh, we can say 32 for this depth so this portion will be press pulling by 32 downward so go down 32 then next is again 16 depth step is there so we will be second section will be press pulling by 16 so select the section go down by 16 so in this way this object has been created we will go to 2d wireframe and erase the unwanted lines so in this way this second object is created so in this way we will stop here thanks for joining